Hey there, I am Nutrix, and today we're talking about the latest version of the Roland Cloud Manager. It's honestly a lot different. Yesterday, I just opened my Roland Cloud Manager to see if there was anything to download, it was anything to upgrade or, you know, new stuff. And I got, oh, message about there's a new version. Okay, install the new version of the manager. Done deal. Now look at this screen. It's totally, totally different than what we have in the past. Totally different window than it has been since the beginning. So now it's white instead of dark. So it's easier to read, I would say, but um, it's mostly a question of navigating it. At the top completely, you have a hardware instrument, software instrument, offers, so the deals of the moment, news, but when you click news, you go online and you go in the news on the Roland Cloud website, and then you get information about how all, all of this works. They took out some of the stuff that was basically being a web browser inside the Roland Cloud Manager, which actually takes some of the time in loading and, and it slows down the software, so this makes it better in that case. At the other end of the top line, you've got view filter, so you can turn that off or on. We'll see that in different windows. You get a refresh of what you have on screen, the settings of the app itself, the membership options, hardware instruments. Roland uses the Roland Cloud Manager to manage the licenses. So if you have any type of hardware device and you want to update uh, some of the firmware, maybe not the firmware, Probably one day is going to be there also, but you want to add expansion to it. You want to buy a new banks of sound for that device. You want to, well, look here. If you have an RD88, you can have wave expansions. Whereas a sound pack, you've got these packs of sound. Some of them are presets. Some of them are loops, depending on what it is. And these at the top here, the piano synthesizers. So these are the type of devices, hardware devices you can have. In my case, I've got the synthesizer, I have the System 8. So you see everything that is compatible with the System 8. All of these plugins, actually plug outs, they exist as a plugin on my computer and they can exist as a plug out in my System 8. But if you look at the bottom here, you've got computer with a little uh, check on it. it means that it's actually installed on my computer. I have it. I have the whole thing because I've got the ultimate account. So I've got everything that is inside the Roland Cloud. So again, if you want to know more, you see there's a little planet Earth on it. So it means that when you click on it, you're going to go online, you're going to go on the website, and you're going to have that window explaining what this plug out or whatever expansion you're clicking on is about. So you get the information. So you they took out everything that was heavy loading time out of the manager, which is kind of logic. It's going to optimize the speed for this. Okay. At the top, you have the plugins, the new, the update, free, the one I can have, not own, updated. So this is something I really like because if I have a lot of things, what is it that I don't have installed? What is it that I should update? So you can just click on update. It shows, okay, doesn't have to be updated. Drum and percussion. I don't have any of these drums, but you can understand that these, some of them are upgrades to it and others are sounds that you can load in. You have the wind instrument, era and dense hardware devices. So again, you get the system one, system eight, they're part of the era and the synthesizer. So that's why they're at two places. You have the TR8S, the editor, which is free. Project here, some of the project packs are free. And just download them. Sometimes there are samples, sometimes there are patterns, like this one is patterns and kits, as this one are basically just sounds you can download. You have the same thing for the TR8S, because it's the same brain, it's the same device, it's just a limit of how many options you have on it, track wise mostly, or hardware wise. TR8 with the expansion of the 707, MC101, MC707, they basically have the same expansion. In this case, uh, you don't have really expansion. You've got banks of sounds and samples you can load and maybe uh, MIDI tracks and uh, patches. Uh, but you don't have the wave expansions that you would have, let's say, if you go in Synthesizer and you go on Jupyter XM, then you've got the Jupyter Editor, which is free. But you've got the model. You've got model expansions here. So these 
create or add new features, new sounds like the vocal designer, it's more than a vocoder, but it is a vocoder and much more. So you're adding more features, not just sounds, but a new engine, if you want, inside the same hardware device. So that's why you buy it over this system, download it, and then you follow the information how to install it inside the device. So, so these are interesting and see like the Juno X has much more model expansions. So sometimes people are asking me which model expands, expansion is compatible with which device. And honestly, when I look on the website, it's kind of hard to do the list. But if you go here, you see right away. If you go Phantom, oh, okay. These are supporting only these. Juno X, well, the Juno X supports these here, and there's an editor for it. But I would love to see the same options that you have here, the SH-101, JX-8P, JX Jupiter-8, JD-800. I would love to see these model expansions compatible with the MCU-707. Please, pretty please. And I would also love to have an editor like you have for all of these synthesizers, you've got editors for the Synthesis, the Jupiter X editor, you've got the Juno X editor. It uses the same engine in the back end, uh, the Zencore engine. Why not have an editor for the MC707? If you have the same capacity of creating your sounds, right now I have to go into Xenology, create the sound I want, save it and export it into the MC707 because the MC707, while the menu it's not that super easy to go around and remember, oh, well, there's also this feature I could use because it's just a little screen. It would really be a plus to have an editor on screen to do it, you know, but please, pretty please. Then the next one is software instruments. If you in software instruments, then these are the software you can download on the computer. Then we've got a Xenology and Xenology effects. So Xenology is, if you're in Xenology section, Xenology uses the Syncore technology. So you have basically the same background um, synthesis engine that you have in the Jupiter X, uh, the Jupiter, uh, the Juno X. Uh, so all the, the, the latest hardware devices from Roland uses some type of Xenology or Syncore technology. So Xenology Pro is the plugin version that runs on your computer. It does the same technology. And you've got, again, these model expansions and you have these different banks of sound you can just download and 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 use them. So that's really cool. Same logic to navigate here. We've got the legendary. Legendaries are the pluckouts. If you go select all, I'm going to show you all of them. These are the recreation of the analog classics drums. You have them here, the TBs. You have the also the digital classics, the JV and the XV. Um, and you have the analog classic from Juno to the Juno Chorus, the JD800, which was digital, the D50 digital, modular one, the SM100. So a lot of classics are here. And this is a cool, you know, kit to have. Um, I have all of, all of them because I have the ultimate. But if somebody has, again, a system eight or a system one, you can actually use, depending on which one you have, some of them, you can actually load them inside the hardware and run with it. And for those who have TR8S and TR6S, you can actually use the patterns of the TR8, uh, 808, the TR909, and all of these patterns of these drum machine, you can exchange with the TR hardware device. So you can create the beat on your screen, send it to the hardware, or create the beat on the hardware and send it here and then continue working. So it's a cool integration to have the two of them. You got drums. Again, it shows you everything that is drum related software wise. You got the SRX. So these are banks of sound that when I listen to them, I think about what you used to find in the XV series. So kind of a expansion slot you could add and have more. If you really want specific sound like an electric piano, keyboards, uh, orchestra sounds, you can download that and it's a plugin that runs that type of sound era the recreation of the synthesizer like if uh, some don't know but the system eight and the system one has his own internal synthesis uh, if you go into the filter mode in the filter you can actually load in system eight i think you load like nine different filters some of them are the jupiter recreation the juno recreation the moog the prophet so it's a very very complex and powerful synthesizer 
So if you like analog style synthesis, but with a lot of features, the system eight basically has all of them. It doesn't do wavetable, doesn't do, it does cross modulation. So some of the FM stuff is also possible, uh, like you would have in classic analog stuff. So if you want the system eight sound and synthesis, well, that's the recreation of the hardware. Anyway, the hardware is a recreation of software. So <laughs> it's kind of a, basically it's the same code. You have also software effects. So you've got the Xenology effects and the Juno 60 chorus. You got software solution. These are basically Zen beats. That's my favorite DAW. It exists on Mac, Windows, iOS, iPadOS, and Android. So it's everywhere. And you can save online and continue your session later on. So I, just for that, the uh, Rolling Cloud Manager is, for me, is a must just for that. And you get audio content, basically banks of sounds, loops, samples you can use in any different ways. It, and it don't have to be inside a rolled in product. You can just buy the sounds and play them. You know, it, it can run with anything that runs samples. And then that's it. You've got the offers, basically what's on a deal right now. Like if you want the entire drum collection well, for $500, you get all of them. You know, if you look here, you've got the entire drum collection that is available, the 808, the 909, the 606, 707, 727, all of them for one single buy. And it's not a rent at that point. It's not a rental. You buy it and you keep it. You're still going to have to use the Rolling Cloud Manager as a license control software. So that's the software is going to say, you download it, and then I confirm that you're the owner. I authorize it on your computer. And at some delay time or moment, they was going to ask you to reconnect to Roland just to confirm that you still are the owner. And it's going to continue confirm that you're, you are because you bought it as, with a lifetime key and it's going to, going to continue to work. So keep that, in, keep that in mind. These are actual buying out of the software, but you still need to have the software. Um, the cloud manager to confirm your ownership of it. So that's the whole thing. That's, I think it's a good step forward. It's cleaner and easier. I still would like to have, like, there's something missing. There's no like search. I would like to be able to, okay, I'm looking at anything that is related to system eight. I could just like click search and it would suggest to click on, Hey, you should click here. You'd get what you want, you know, but that's it. Cool, simple. I think they're really trying to clean up and make it clear for people to understand where they are in it. You could also do different color codes, say when you're in hardware instrument, maybe all of this changes to some, some type of like a blue color. When you're software, you're in some type of orange color. So you know you're not in the same section. You're in two different sections. But that's me. I like to color code stuff. It doesn't matter. Still, as a last request, please, please roll in, create a software editor to control the MC 707 synthesis part, and maybe just back up your stuff. That'd be cool. And add the options to the MC 707 to play or to have model expansions like the JD 800, like the SH 101, all of these, just please, it, it, I'm sure it can do it. It's a flagship of the desktop. C come on, make it, make it work. Make it do, 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 please. <laughs> That's it. Stay safe. Make my music. See you soon. Cheers.